Clashes between government forces and ISIS terrorists have continued in central Syria since July 2nd, when ISIS cells stormed army positions in eastern Homs. In response, the Syrians, supported by the Russian aerospace forces, launched a security operation in the desert. Sporadic clashes and airstrikes were reported in the area over the next few days. On July 4th, ISIS terrorists even ambushed a unit of the Syrian army in eastern Homs. The military reportedly lost contact with 25 soldiers in eastern Homs. As of July 6th, their fate remains unclear. It's likely that members of the dispersed unit are now returning to their permanent positions in the province. Pro-opposition sources claim that over the past week, at least 20 soldiers were killed in clashes with ISIS members. Pro-government sources do not provide details regarding army casualties, but say that government forces were able to destroy three ISIS vehicles and neutralize up to 10 ISIS members. As the Syrian government fights ISIS on the western bank of the Euphrates, the US-led coalition conducted a raid against the terrorist group in the town of Hussein on the eastern bank of the Euphrates. On July 5th, U.S. helicopters landed near the town and U.S. forces, assisted by members of the Kurdish-led Syrian Democratic Forces, SDF, detained at least four suspects. Meanwhile, the SDF leadership declared that it does not see a possibility to reach a comprehensive political agreement with Damascus because the government wants to restore full control over the provinces of Deir ez-Zor and Raqqa in the framework of such a deal. SDF Commander-in-Chief Abdi Sahin, better known by his nom de guerre Muslim Abdi, declined such a possibility, claiming that the Kurdish-led group wants to keep control of all the areas that it has seized. Abdi is a member of the Kurdistan Workers' Party, PKK, which seeks to create an independent Kurdish state in southern Turkey and, if possible, include it into territories of northern Syria and northern Iraq. Therefore, such a position of the SDF leadership is not a big surprise. In 2019, the Syrian army came to northeastern Syria to rescue the SDF from the Turkish military advance when the group, then abandoned by the US-led coalition, needed it. However, after this, the Kurdish leadership once again turned back from the Syrian people, selling its loyalty to Washington for weapons and a share of oil revenue from the US-controlled Syrian oil fields. Infighting among Turkish-backed militant groups erupted in the provinces of al Hasaka and Raqqa on July 3rd and July 5th. Tel Abiyad, Al Yabisa, and Ras Al Ayan are the main hotpoints. At least five militants and several civilians were killed. The main source of tensions is the intra militant competition for control of roads, agricultural lands, and trade in a small chunk of area occupied by Turkey in northeastern Syria. The funding from Turkey decreased after the de escalation of the conflict in this part of the country. So, Turkish backed fighters are now looting the captured areas to obtain the needed financial resources.